I cannot have miracles in my life if I have chaos in my mind. I can't have miracles in my life if I have chaos in my mind. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 says the following that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. Most people believe this myth. The reason why my mind and my heart is so negative and is full of doubt, full of insecurity, full of hurt and full of pain is because my life has been difficult. And if you will tell someone your life story of what you've been through, all the hurts, all the rejection, all the abuse, all the betrayal you went through and then you will share how negative you are, a typical person will say, makes sense. Because you are convinced and so am I at times. The reason why my mind is so negative and full of defeat is because my life is in a chaos. God said it's the other way around. See we are convinced it's because of what I've been through that's exactly why I am the way I am and we use our past as an excuse to justify the mess and the chaos in our head and in our heart and by no respect do I mean no sympathy to the things that we went through in our life. Every ship goes through boisterous waters every single day but the reason why they survive is because the waters do not go inside of them. It is a choice to have a negative mind. It does not happen by chance. It is a choice. And the first myth you have to break is this. I cannot be positive. I cannot be at peace. I cannot be filled with God's light. Why? Because my life is in the chaos. And if God wants me to walk with this spring in my step, if God wants me to have this God confidence, if God wants me to believe in Him, in me, if God wants me to do that, He needs to change my life. It means He needs to bring a son in my life. And God says, if you want a son, allow me to change you on the side first. The way God works, He doesn't change your life first. He changes your mind first. If He changes your life without changing your mind, it's a matter of time where life will line up to the level of our mind. Can somebody say amen? The Bible says in Proverbs 23, 7, For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. It's interesting that it doesn't say, As a man is so he thinks in his heart. The Bible doesn't say as man's finances, as man's relationships, as man's life is, so he thinks in his heart. The Bible says actually it's the opposite. As he thinks in himself, so is his life. My friends, it's the other way around. Where your mind goes, your life will follow. Say where my mind goes, so where my mind goes, my life will follow. Say, my mind is the workshop for the Holy Spirit. Can somebody say amen? So do not excuse yourself and simply say, well, it's just been, my life has been hard. God can understand. That's one of the reasons why I allow all of these things to come inside. 